Hey people, Intrat here. BV3 Faction War this is. SDR Province and Chaos Space Marines versus Imperial Guard. The Blue Chaos team, Rogal Dawn's lost his way a bit, became a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee. Alongside, War. Where's he gone to? There he is, Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control, Alpha Legion elite scheme. And rather than off this team, Doc of all plagues as a plague champion starts off with the damage of a time bolt gun can get melee weapons some strong utility and support can also repair red team for the guard demon is a lord general fighting in ranged combat begins with a retinue of stormtroopers to help him out can add to this retinue throughout the game has really strong defense and support and rounding off the teams a couple of lord commissars bum nine here with the what is this this is the Mordian Iron Guard Elite Scheme and we have Dance Commander. These guys have strong offense fighting in melee can also support and begin with a refractor shield. In amongst some Chaos Space Marines here might see a couple of power swords from these fellas. Boom Blast on the Lord Commissar so he can't chase the CSM as effectively. Sorcerer has taken a bunch of damage here. He gets a good special though on the Lord Commissar is getting a little bit low. Shield is down completely. No more energy to power it. Throws it up when he can. Sorcerer consumes one heretic. And they do get away. So does the Lord Commissar. Might see a Doom Bolts on those Guardsmen there. I don't think it would have actually hit them very well. On the west side, it is blue for Chaos. Sentinels here to maybe decap things. We've got some Grenade Launcher Heretics for Rogaldorn. And of course, some melee heretics. We get stomped. Two to one cap. Lord General being used in melee to tie things up early on. Derek and Nigel both alive. But uh, not a lot of hit points in our little retinue right now. CSM drop a model and run off the east side. There's a sentinel here to break stuff. Plague Champion has no more cover, needs to back away. Might take the garrison here does take the garrison. That's something the Sentinel just can't break. And he'll take some damage as they back off. I think you can decap this without getting shot from that garrison, so you might see that. Yeah, Sentinel's going to try and decap this wreck point. Might be a bit risky. It is quite low if double CSM come out swinging, but Doc has double heretics. Aspiring champion on one of them. The Mordian Iron Guard taking the mid, or at least trying to. Shield is thrown up again. Double Eternal War Chaos Space Marines here. You see the damage they do to that Lord Commissar. That was nuts. Very effective. Just don't lose too many heretics here, I think, as war. Use them quite defensively. And the double CSM can just walk into melee. Oh, there's Catechins. They're going to change things. These guys got an aspiring champion. Seems like war wants to use them quite aggressively here. They get shotgunned by the Catechins. Another reason not to try and push the heretics in. I think they're just going to bleed models endlessly if they try to use them aggressively here. Sentinel stomp on the CSM. Here's an assist for Rogal Dawn. From Rogal Dawn, I should say. They didn't drop a model to CSM. Looks like they're going to be all right. Some heavy cover here, lads, you should use. Chaos Lord with the Combi Flamer. Nasty ranged weapon to shoot down guards when as he chases them around. And set them on fire like this. Couple more seconds standing there, those guys would have been gone. Oh no. Lord General is down. Sentinel is down. Good couple of minutes here for the Chaos teams. Can they push through to power now? Lord Commissar says no. Does have a power sword for Bum 9. Awesome weapon. 50 DPS power melee, which does extra versus heavy infantry. And you get the awesome lead by example. A speed bonus, and you get those special attacks that buff allies around him. Combi Flame are doing work there. Look at it. Just tearing them apart. Racks up XP really well. He's already level 2, this fella. Sorcerer on the way to level 2. Doc with about a third of an XP bar. Lord General also almost level 2. Bum 9 is level 2. And another power sword for Dance Commander here. About three quarters of the way through level 1. CSM take the garrison and say the Commissar Lord has found us. Heavy weapon squad using this little bit of heavy cover to set up their heavy bolter here. Plenty of room to go around it though. 
There's that grenade barrage, but not in time to stop the cap. Demons revived, I think. Meanwhile, on the east side, double CSM here for war, as we saw earlier. Supporting Dock of All Plagues. Not sure where their CSM are. They need to get some reinforcements. Can they meaningfully bash the power here? I feel like they have the numbers, but do they have the time? Got some Katachan Devils for Dance Commander too. There's some Zinchin Worship to infiltrate this stuff. Can they finish off the Sentinel? They use it to get close and they do get it. That was so risky from Dance Commander there to keep it out. Nice catch, says Doc. It was indeed. Nicely done. Sent down. Lord Commissar in amongst some grenade launcher aspiring champion heretics. The aspiring champion gets a nifty little bolt gun when they've got grenade launchers, which I quite like. Lord Commissar is not going to make it out of that. Go down. Meanwhile, powerful offensive from Dance Commander. Katachin's doing some really good work disrupting some other guys coming in from the flank. Those heretics barely get away. Katachin's with power melee knives. Really messing up those CSM on retreat. Retreating units taking 30% more damage from melee. So you combine that with the damage bonus from power melee attacks. And heavy infantry do not like Katachin's on their retreat path. Catechins don't have a melee charge, so they're not the, the most amazing at chasing off retreating units because they can't charge after them. They'll do some work for you. Lots of dead heretics on the west side. Rogel Dawn doesn't seem too bothered by it. Just going to casually cap the VP it. amongst their innards. CSM getting away there with two models. Very quickly the guard hit back on the power in the southeast here. No down, gen down. Improvised explosive. I don't see one. I guess it would get spotted by all these aspiring champion heretics that are floating around. There's that grenade launcher barrage thing. Might see another one from the other squad. No, they came close for a shotgun blast. Noise Marines on the field now for war. Nice option to have against Patrician Devils. That sonic blaster shuts down ranged attacks and does a fair chunk of damage over time too. Lord Commissar is going to drop. There he goes. Did have the flak jacket on the way. That will resume once they are revived. Plague Marines coming up here for Rogel Dawn. Everyone's tier 2 or going tier 2. West side. They have weapon squad. Are a threat to the Chaos Lord if he gets close. Heavy turret is up. Dropped in by Demon. CSM level to what? To 2. Chaos trying to hold this VP here, but when tier 2 rolls around, Guardsmen start to find some plasma guns back at HQ. And they're no good. No bueno for CSM. Plague Marines with that snaring missile launcher. Low speed and huge hit points and health regen. They only have regular infantry armor though, so they can drop to regular piercing damage like las guns if there's enough of them. Especially things like fully upgraded shooter boys seem to shred Plague Marines pretty quickly. Some more plasma guns up here for Dance Commander. Ogrins on the field for Bum 9. Chimera for Dance Commander 2. There it is. Providing some infield support. Can reinforce around it and jump inside to avoid danger. I don't know if these noise marines will get away. There's a warp attempt. And I think they got it. Oh, what is this though? That was very, very strange. War used his warp global to get that noise marine out of danger and then it decided to slide backwards some way. But uh, it did make it out. Dread on the way says War. And Doc has one as well. Heavy turret can't shoot stuff in melee range like this but it does have vehicle armor. So it's going to take those. Oh they have help. Plague Marines are here to missile launcher it down. There we go. Sniper rifle fire on my target of the Lord General who now has zero units on the field okay they had a really bad fight trying to work around this bunker i guess lots of dead guardsmen all over the gaff the heavy weapon squad went down that that was a bad time they overcommitted to defending that turret i think sometimes you got to, just gotta let your turrets go here's wars chaos dreadnought most likely we'll see it with mark of corn paired with the sorcerer but maybe they'll keep it 
in this default state for a while until they build up some red to use warp. And it's, it's a pretty damn good at default state with that auto cannon and that underslung heavy bolter. Doc also has their dreadnought in a default state. Let the galaxy burn coming in. They will jump inside the Chimera, but there are Plague Marines now on rear armor. Basilisk Flare dropped in to mess up their range, but here comes the Dreadnought. That auto cannon will do anti-vehicle damage. It's not going to get away. Yeah, and if it caught it in melee, it would have wrecked it as well. So Chimera down. That was a really risky move from Dance Commander to bring the Chimera all the way up the field over here. Super risky move. We have some Inspire Courage Guardsmen, I think. Oh, are they just buffed by the sniper rifle? I think they're just buffed by the sniper rifle, yeah. There's multiple were buffed there. Level 3 Chaos Lord. Done well on the side. 367 to 370. VPs, very even. But Demon was hugely depleted. They have recovered with double guardsmen wielding plasma guns, which I think is a decent way to recover. Pretty cost effective way to do it. Oh, Lord General has fallen over again. Got the decap though. One to one here. Got some Nurgle worship, which does heal over time vehicles these days, which is nice. We do have a Mark of Corn for Wars Chaos Dreadnought. And it's Mark of Zinch for Dock of All Plagues. 20 power. I I struggle to find a scenario where I'd really want a Mark of Zinch Dreadnought. Frenzied Barrage is like okay. And yeah, they are pretty effective against vehicles, but they're pretty damn expensive for an anti-vehicle roll. they got to be really freaking good at it. And they're, they're so slow. It's not, like, it's not like you're getting a Mark of Zinch tank, which is a little bit more zippy. And there's a Melter Bomb and Anti-Armor Stormtroopers. It's going to be like 140, 150 power down the drain if this Dreadnought falls. The Mark of Corn one goes rolling in. Or running in, I guess, stomping in there with the Blood Rage active. The Dreadnought might survive here, I think. The Stormtroopers were sent packing. Ogryn is coming a bit late to finish it off. But they are ripping stuff up here. Heavy melee squad with super heavy infantry armor. They don't want to fight that Chaos Dreadnought with Mark of Thorn, though. Has it used the... Uh, I don't think it's used... The frenzied barrage yet, that dreadnought. Noxious Cloud from Dock of All Plagues from the Global Bar. Nasty against big packs of Imperial Guardsmen, but I think they're going to be alright. Lord Commissar revives the Lord Commissar. Maybe. Uh oh. Both dreadnoughts come in with some smack time. We have, what is it, Stubbornness and Flat Jacket for the Lord Commissar here. Inspire Terror will target marines I guess ouch catagen devils almost wiped dreadnoughts are pushing up really far there's warp just in case that thing was in trouble I think it would have been alright but it was a good shout to warp it out I think this one's being repaired sending your dreadnought up for a power bash is risky I don't see huge amounts of threats here this, the Catechins have their Melter Gun Sergeant. But it's a, enough here to repel them, I think. The CSM popping their slaughter. Here come some flanking Stormtroopers. Being spotted by those Heretics Aspiring Champion, though. And they can't threaten a Dreadnought. 367 to 297. All of a sudden, an execution of Lehman Russ hits the field. Demon goes tier 3 and calls it in, I imagine. Such a, an amazing global. Dropping a Lehman Russ in gone for the more anti-infantry execution of plasma cannon pretty damn effective here come the ogrins the dreadnought still not leaving trying to get some dps on that lehman russ ogrins will go for it and this thing won't have melee resistance with mark of zinch now ogrins are going for the plague marines to help out the tank now they can try to go for the dreadnought is war Paying attention, do they even have the thing off cooldown? Dreadnought's gonna fall. You can't stand your Dreadnought 
at the opponent's power for, for two minutes and think it's gonna survive in a 3v3. You just can't do that. Unless you're a sorcerer, I guess. Chaos Terminators are up for Rogal Dawn. Now, that might lead to some Primaris Psycho action because they have some decent anti-Terminator control stuff. Strip Soul will mess up Terminators quite a lot, especially if you turn on the channel health to use it thing. Then you can strip their soul for ages and lock them down in place. Tier 3 for war. Tier 3 for bum 9. That's the last Imperial Guard player to go Doc of all plagues though. Still in tier 2 getting double plague runes up. And there's a noxious cloud in the back. And all those guards when that were repairing are out of there. And they got massacred by the by the noxious cloud. Almost completely wiped. Lord Commissar can't Tied them both up. Tried to take out the Chaos Space Marines with Inspire Terror there. And the Lima Russ is going to drop, I think. Unless they can keep these guys torn up. Nope, there's a shot. And down it goes. Could have, Should have also sent the Catechins into melee, I believe. Because the Lord Commissar can only tie up one of the models. So, in instances like that, where they get up and have a, a split second to shoot something, they get the missile off. Meanwhile, west side, so heavy losses on that east side for both players. Dreadnought down, Demon Rust down. Chaos Terminus is with a default loadout of Combi Bolters and Power Fists. Pretty damn good loadout. Got some Havocs up here with a heavy bolter. Expecting a bunch of tanks, maybe. 367 to 225. Last Master Noise Marines for war, doing a good job on the west side, keeping the Lord General from capping. Derek and Nigel getting upset. One of them dies. Which one was it? I believe that was Nigel. On the east side, Contested Power going to turn blue for Chaos. And they are definitely in the Ascendancy here. There's Tier 3 for Doc. Demon. I mean, what do you get now? Do you get another Lehman Russ? The fella said Laz Cannon. Yep, Rogal Dawn's getting Marco Zinch on those Havocs. Is that Emperor's Wrath? That is Emperor's Wrath. That was awesome. That was awesome. How did those heretics survive? Because they're level 2, I guess. Dreadnought's in a bit of trouble. More anti armor stormtroopers coming in. Let the Galaxy Burn going in there. Massive fight. Dreadnought. Pops, Blood Rage for extra speed, extra damage, and extra damage resistance, but needs to be warped out. I think the Sorcerer got it out, though. We will check. Massive firefight here. There's another Noxious Cloud set up by a Grenade Barrage. And a Rocket Run. Noxious Cloud. Is it going to wipe any of those guys? I don't think so. Noxious Cloud doesn't move very fast, but when it gets to you, it really hurts Guardsmen. Really, really hurts. So that was a hell, of a hell of a thing. War down to three units. This guy needs repairs. The Plague Champion is helping out. I don't know how he repairs stuff. Just uses, like, bile and mucus he has around, I think. Just fills in all the holes with Nurgle stuff. Auto Cannon now up for the Chaos Terminators. You notice that red debuff circle that is the demoralization effect of killing things we just saw inspire terror there but it didn't kill one of this terminator did a bunch of damage to one of them though i think it's isn't it like 300 damage inspire terror it certainly used to be 300 damage the lord commissar bum nine trying to cap the vp imperial guard running out of vps a little bit down under 200 200 and a bit behind 227. Doc of all plagues backing off. Oh, maybe they know that these guys are around. Being all sneaky like. Heretics will come in and spot them. Oh, they started shooting anyway. And there's that plague champion. No war gear, by the way, for this fella. Done alright though, I think. Just shooting that that damage of a time bolt gun of his. Plague bolter, I guess I'll call it. I wish he had access to an upgraded version. 
Level 4 Chaos Space Range here for Robel Dawn. Doesn't want to lose them. Is it worth getting them near Sparring Champion? Probably not when you're down to 3 units. Robel Dawn wants to just recover with numbers, I think. The Guard have the west side back. And the Chaos rosters, their army is looking a little bit thinner here, for sure. Overextended here and there, haven't they? Chaos Lord himself is down in the middle. That big fight in the middle was kind of nuts. Pretty awesome, actually. Ogrins, level 3 Ogrins. These guys have done well since they came on the field. Trying to chase down some poor heretics. While the Plague Marines try to shoot them. It's going to be hard for them to hit the missiles on the Ogrins. There's the retreat. 325 to 140. Power bash from the guard in the southwest. Did pretty well. The Dreadnought's still up with Mark of Corn, And is it? Yeah, they've got enough red for another warp if they need it. That is a vanquish for Lehman Russ. Really bad news for that Dreadnought. An awesome anti-vehicle tank. Lot of numbers over here. They need some bunkers up maybe. Behind this blocker here. 308 to 140 on the VPs. Great Unkingmon coming up for war. Chosen Plague Marines for Doc. Decent Blastmaster hit there. I don't know why they're pushing. What are you doing? Get back. They need mid-map here. Imperial Guard need mid-map authority. I think they're just trying to keep pressure on the power. But I don't think that's a good idea. They, they know that they're coming in numbers. It's time to back off and hold your position. Invite them onto you. Let the wave of chaos crash against you and try to repel it, I think. Don't really want to be on the front foot against Chaos because that's their jam. They had a front foot faction alongside Orcs and stuff. Massive firefight again. And that's Emperor's Wrath. They don't seem to spot it super well. Wow. The guard can shoot, eh? Lots of demoralization from the Chaos Terminator kills, but that'll wear off. Hatachun's being used decently well. If you can... Use your catechins in like big fights like this. Keep track of them and use their abilities. They can make a max massive difference. Dark flames in there you saw a bit earlier. Chaos repelled. Just dare them. Dare them to approach all of these plasma guns. They got some Kassik in there with plasma too. I wonder how the great unclean one's going to do here. It does take extra damage from plasma since it's super heavy infantry. There's the Foul Snare. This guy passively damages nearby enemies, so if you get close to those Guardsman blobs, you're just going to hurt them by being close and a big Nurgle Vomit there too. Power Bash again. Well timed, I think. Yep, they get it done. 250 to 140. Now it's time to back off again and keep the mid-map. Oh, but it lost the VP. Look. Sneaky, sneaky noise when he's got in there. And grabbed it. Some Guardsmen are capping though. These are 12 model Guardsmen with the Commissar and the sergeant. These guys only have the sergeant, so do these guys. What about dance commander? Yep, they're up to full 12. So they reinforce three at a time and trade really well with the plasma guns. Here's those chosen plague marines. Unique to the plague champion. These guys also passively damage nearby enemies. That's some good damage of a tiny me melee stuff going on. Oh, they're, look, they're damaging those nearby mines even. Back on the west side. 242 to 140. Can the guard hold on? Great unclean ones here. Foul snare doesn't drag the Commissar because the shield was up. And a Bane Blade from Dance Commander. Another one on the way, it looks like there. From Bum 9. Plague Marines getting some good shots. Great unclean one in on the Bane Blade. There's all that plasma though. There's a lot of plasma. I wonder if war. He's going to warp it out soon. Plague Marines going for it. There's a rocket run. Could have been better. Could have been worse. The second run was a bit too far behind. Oh, oh I think it was warped out, eh? Oh, but look where it was warped to. It was warped to the downed, twitching corpse of the sorcerer where a bunch of Ogrins were hanging out. I guess it's not his corpse if he's twitching, but you know what I mean. Warped it into trouble. And the Great Unclean One falls. 
203 to 140. Two Bane Blades up, soon to be three Bane Blades. The guard might have this. More Chaos Terminators for Rogal Dawn. But I don't I don't think they have enough anti-vehicle to deal with a Lehman Rust and three Bane Blades. That's so much vehicle HP to get through. They need Laz Cannons, more Plague Marines, perhaps. Maybe even some Melter Raptors or something. Ouch. They do have double auto cannon terminators, that's gonna help. Emperor's Wrath. No, that's the demolisher cannon. Down goes the Chaos Lord. There's Imperial Abyss from the Chaos Lord. Which does like 200 heavy melee DPS in that little circle in the middle. So the Bane Blades got to try to get the hell away from it. They're putting decent pressure on the Bane Blades. Certainly making them reverse. Those Plague Marines are really low though. And the Terminators are getting really low too. Having to teleport out. Noxious Cloud in the back is good for dispersing the, the uh, repairing units. There's a third Bane Blade though. There is a repair bunker back there as well. So one of the Bane Blades got really low. They did a much better job than I thought. Fist of Brockus, yep, Fist of Brockus for Bum 9, level 9 Lord Commissar. 124 to 140. Imperial Guard with a VP lead and good armies on the field too. Ogrins versus Chosen Plague Marines here. Oh, they've conceded. The Chaos team have conceded, they took some big blows in those fights. Would have been an uphill struggle, but I would have liked to see it play out. Oh, all three of their heroes were down as well. Level 8 Chaos Lord here. Level 2 Chaos Sorcerer. Level 4 Plague Champion. Had a level 5 Lord General. And the Commissars were 9 and 8. Pretty good comeback from the Guard. I felt like the Chaos Fellows were quite well ahead for a while. The Dreadnoughts. The Dreadnoughts are such a big risk in a 3v3. You've got to be careful with them. And they weren't. And I think that really, that really messed them up. Losing those two dreadnoughts. And then the great unclean one falling. And then after that I was like. Too much ground to make up. Did the Ogrins hit level 4? Yeah they did. Well they have it guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players. For playing out a faction war. I'm not sure if it was planned. Or it just happened to be that way. And I'll see you guys next time.